Hey guys, welcome back to it's Damien from Marketing Food Online. I'm actually going to do a really brief video. I wanted to clarify something with the online labels um, templates. Uh, the templates that create the labels, when you want to do a custom label, I've had actually a handful of my subscribers um, kind of need a little bit of help, and I'd be more than happy to show you uh, how to clarify that little issue. So when you're on online labels, this is, by the way, this is the company that I, I highly recommend you buy labels from just because they are uh, actually a company that I use. I've, I've used them for years now, but they have thousands of shapes, thousands of labels, colors, textures, and so on and so on. So, and they're, they're very, very easy to work with. They have great customer service. Um, anytime you have an issue, they are always there. Uh, but to let you know that they also have um, pre-made templates and let me explain how this works. So, you have to use the labels that you buy from online labels in order to use the online labels templates. There are some label websites that do have templates where you can kind of interchange different brands. This is not one of them, okay? And that's perfectly fine. Actually, it's great because I, when I print them on my, on my printer, they are aligned perfectly. They match up with the template. They look great, okay? So sign in. Okay, here's, I'm gonna walk you through it. You gotta go to online labels, create an account if you haven't, sign in, see? my account. Now I've already clicked that. So I'm on my account. Scroll down, go to launch Maestro. Okay, cool. Here we go. Now, if you're wanting to create a new label, okay, and you bought the label from online labels, and I don't want to sound redundant or repeat myself, but to tell you, tell you again, you need to make sure that you buy the labels from online labels. The templates will not work if, it, if you're trying to use another label. Okay. All right. So create a new label. Let's click on that. Now, what you need to do is when you get your labels from online labels in the box, okay, it comes in a plastic uh, flip top container, okay? Now, on that container, I'm just grabbing, a, grabbing one right now, on that container, on the label, it's very important that you follow this instruction to the T. On the label, you're going to see a big, bold, black text uh, item number. It's actually the label number for the label. It's big and bold. It starts with O L, capital O, capital L, and then there's a number. And some of them have numbers and then um, letters at the end, or some of them don't. Like for instance, right here as an example, you see this O L twenty eight. That is the item number that you have to type in up here. Okay, type it in up here. Now I'm actually going to I'm going to go ahead and just type in one of the labels that I actually use five three. There it is. Okay. To it now just leave it standard design you're going to see this pop up every single time you want to make a new label just go with it and leave it on the top i don't do this don't do this i just hit start new design okay all right now this is the five three seven five two inch round label you come over here i'm going to do a real quick example okay text let's say whatever candy company example Okay, now you want to add the text to the design. See it here? You got to add that. Okay, guys, click on this. It's going to come here. You can then you got to hold the cursor down, obviously, and then drag it to wherever you want it. Okay, now one thing to keep in mind this is this is the font size right here. You want to center a line. I always center a line because it just looks professional, and I always bold type it. Okay, now you see these parameters right here? This is also very important. The, the text in here will not, let me increase it and I'll show you. The text will not exceed those edges, okay? It will just keep getting longer and longer, but it's going to stay within this width. Now, you obviously don't want it to look like that because it looks like an eye exam. Okay, so pull it down here and you want to enlarge it, right? You want to create these sides need to go to about where the edge of the circle is, okay? Or, you know, whatever label. This is an example, of course. But if you have a square, you want it to go to the edge, okay? So that way, see the text can in increase within the label parameters, and that's a little too big. You see what I'm saying? So then you can put this down and then center it, then click off, off of the circle, and then that's how your label will look, okay? If you want to import images, you can do that too. Click on images and then pull up any type of image that you want. Well, these are some just sample images inside, okay? But really quick, um, that is how you utilize. Now, when you go to print it, what you're going to do is your take your cursor and just hold it over top of print. You don't have to click anything just yet. Hold it over there. The drop-down menu will show. 
Then scroll down with your cursor, print now, and then you want to download, give it one second. It's going to download on your computer. Now click it. And if, now your your of course your computer may actually operate differently. I use the Windows here. I have a Windows Seven, so it just may operate differently. But this is how it'll look. Now, this was going to show you. It's not going to show you the circle, the outline of the, of the template. Okay, it's just going to show you the text. So because this is what's going to print, and these are two inch round labels. Okay, and if you scroll down, you'll see all of them. Right, all the same. Okay, then just go ahead and click print. Now, recap that one more time. So if you're looking for, you want to create a new, a new label, right? If you open one, that means you've already created one that's in your system, that's in, saved up in your system, okay? Create new, that's fine. Do you want to save this? No, okay? And then now it'll give you your most saved recent designs. Th these are just designs that I've done before. But when you hit new label, make sure you've got to put this code in here. Why? Because when you're, you have to use their labels, of course, like I mentioned, but when you're printing, it's going to recognize that template that is already in the software. So when it prints on your printer, it's going to be perfectly fine. Okay, that's a really quick tutorial. I hope I hope that answers your question uh, in regards to how to get it to line up. Now, do keep in mind also one more quick tip: make sure that your printer is set at a hundred percent. So it's printing, it's cr printing capacity is at one hundred percent. That's something you have to do on your own with your printer. Um, sometimes I make smaller, uh, I print up labels that are smaller and I go to 50%. If you keep it at 50% or less than 100, it's not going to align properly and it's going to print incorrectly. Okay. So go into your printer, like when you go to print, and I'll show you here. Let me show you what I mean. Here's my print. Okay. This is my printer information. It's a blah, 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 blah. Okay. More settings. Okay. Right. And see this one right here scale, fit to page. That's not at 100. There we go. It has to be at 100. If it's 99, you see how this move? Watch this here when I change this. It will move. It will It will not be lined up. You see how it's moving? That movement is bad. You don't want that because it's not going to line up properly. So keep it at 100 and then print. You're good to go. Okay? So if that helps you out, please do give me a big thumbs up. Uh, as always, I always appreciate the feedback. Um, if you do have any more questions about it, please do feel free to answer, ask me a question down below in the description of the video, and I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. But um, for those that asked about it, um, I do hope this answers the question. And just keep in mind, uh, their software, their templates, you have to utilize their labels. It will not work with other ones. So thank you, guys. Take care.